Adam here from the Walzer Automotive Group. What I want to do today is take you on a test drive. So next to me here, I have a 2025 Mazda CX-5. Now this is the Premium Plus package, but we'll cover some of the other options that are available, the interior, the exterior, and then go for a spin around, see what it's like out on the road. Okay, so now we're behind the wheel of the 25 CX-5. And again, this is the 2.5S Premium Plus. So there's eight different trim levels. So it starts now with the re-addition to the 25 lineup of the 2.5S, which is just the base trim. And then you can go all the way up from there. So this is kind of a little bit higher, one of the mid-tier trim levels. So it's got lots of great equipment. So we'll go for a spin around and dive in. But before we do that, I've got my cell phone with me here, as we always do. And I've got it placed down here on the wireless charger. Now this this is going to give you wireless Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto. It's got the wireless charging, there's USB charging in here. So that's a great feature, not only for safety, but also convenience. So we'll dive into that a little bit later, but for now, let's put it in drive, go for a spin around. So there was a handful of changes now to the 25 model lineup. Nothing radical. It's not a redesign or anything. It's just a few trim level shifts as well as some different equipment that's available depending on which trim level you're looking at. Now, what's really cool about this CX-5, I love the styling and look. Now, let's start with the exterior. This is the black mica paint. This Premium Plus also adds the 19-inch wheels, which do look really good in the silver, contrast with that black paint on the outside. And this particular one also gets the roof rack cross rails. So if you're into the outdoors, whether that's maybe mountain biking or kayaking or anything like that, you can throw that up on the roof. You still get a ton of room inside, and it does make it very convenient and easy if you are trying to get out to the lake or to the trail. Now, there's a couple different engine options. This particular one, like the name says, is the 2.5S. It's gonna give you around 187 horsepower and it still keeps a six speed automatic transmission. There's no CVT found in this model and it's gonna be another option for the turbo. So if you want a little bit more zip, a little bit more get up and go, that would certainly be one to check out. But for this particular model, I think 95% of the time, it's more than enough to get you going. And now it is important to note that all Mazda SUVs through the entire lineup come standard with the all-wheel drive. So there's no front-wheel drive Mazdas anymore for the SUVs. They're all going to be all-wheel drive. And like I said, this particular one does get the 2.5 and the 6-speed. So obviously with the great performance, what about the fuel economy? Now this particular one will get you about 30 on the highway or 28 combined. So it's very efficient. The turbo does take that down a little bit just because you get a little bit more power there as you'd expect. But like I said, overall 30 miles per gallon and 187 horsepower doesn't sound like a lot, but when you put the combo together, these are really fun to drive out on the road. I've been cruising along this morning. There's a couple of nice lake roads over here that weave back and forth. And you can definitely feel that spirited fun drive when you're behind the wheel of a Mazda. It doesn't drive and ride like all other crossover or kind of smaller SUVs. It does have a fun zippiness to it, and it's kind of more of a sportier drive, if that makes sense. You kind of feel like you could put it into the corners, have a little bit more fun when you're behind the wheel, and you've also got paddle shifters. So if you want to manually change through the gears, you can do that. And again, there's a My Drive Sport Mode. So when it's in sport mode with the paddles, it does make it pretty fun on the road. Now, what about the interior? So one thing that's really cool, I've got the heads up display in this particular Premium Plus. So the active driving display, that's gonna show me my miles per hour. If I've got the adaptive cruise control, the lane departure system going, that would be right up in my line of sight. It will also be a color display. So if you're going into like a school zone or a stop sign, that's really cool as well. Now from behind the wheel, the Premium Plus gets you these super comfortable seats. Now these are going to be heated as well as ventilated for the driver and the passenger. And even the second row is gonna be heated with the Premium Plus. But one of my all time favorite features is the heated steering wheel. Now, I know it's fall here in Minnesota, winter is quickly approaching, and when you have the heated seats and heated steering wheel, it makes such a big difference. It is absolutely one of my favorite features and definitely a reason to maybe crawl your way up the CX-5 trim levels. Now from there, these seats, this one, like I said, is gonna be power, but it's also gonna be a memory seat. So you can control it if you've got two different drivers, and that is also very easy. Now the Premium Plus does get the sunroof up above, so if you want a little bit more space, you can open that up, and with the darker interior, it does make it a little bit lighter in here, especially if you got the kiddos in the back, they might be a little bit happier with that open. Now speaking of the rear seats, 
there's plenty of room back there. I'm six foot one. Some little crossover or midsize SUVs that I hop in, you almost have no headroom and I almost have to duck getting in. But this, I didn't feel that at all. Knee space is a little tighter, so if you need a little bit more room, you can jump up to the CX-70 or the CX-90 if you're looking for the third row. But I think day to day, if you had the kids back there in the car seats, they'd be more than fine. I drive pretty close to the steering wheel anyways, so I didn't really have any problem with that. But like I said, if you need the extra space or the third row, you might want to jump up to the other maybe larger SUVs in the lineup, but as far as space goes in the back, it's a power lift gate on this model. And when you open it up, there is a ton of room back there. And what's cool, it's not a 60-40 split. It's a 40-20-40. So if you've got skis or the kids got the hockey bags or something like that, you can kick down the middle seat and still keep the two up. So you can keep four passengers in the vehicle with a pass-through. That is a really convenient thing. If you are a Minnesota hockey parent, you are definitely going to appreciate that. Throw the sticks in, the bags in the back, and still keep the kids in the rear seats. Now, the infotainment screen. Like I said, wireless Apple CarPlay in here. It's fast, it's convenient. You can use the little controller down here to go through. There's also voice control. So on the steering wheel, you can press and hold or click that and it will give you Siri if you wanna make it really easy. But you can also program it to be able to use it as a touch screen when you're on the go text messaging, Google Maps, Spotify. You can even just click the little map button down here. That's gonna pull up the maps or your music. It is awesome. And this one also gets the Bose sound system. So it does sound really good in here and that is a noticeable upgrade. Now, one other thing that's really cool in here is now for 25, this Premium Plus, which used to be reserved for the highest trim levels, gets the 360 view camera. That is so good. If you're parking at that busy grocery store, trying to get out of the driveway or a tight parking spot, that makes it really easy to see what's going on. You can click the little button on the side over here, I'm going about 30 miles an hour, and I can pull up the front facing camera, the side facing cameras. Maybe you're trying to see around a building or another car. That is a great feature that I definitely like in the Premium Plus. So as far as safety is concerned, like I said, the adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring in the mirrors, you've got emergency braking, there's so much built into these vehicles. And obviously, like I said, if it's you and the family in the vehicle, you're gonna wanna make sure you're safe and the Mazda absolutely delivers on that. So in conclusion, I mean, it's hard to touch on all this stuff in just such a short amount of time, but wireless Apple CarPlay, heated ventilated seats with the heated steering wheel. I think great styling on the exterior. Like I said, more than enough power to get you going, but not overpowered where you're still getting 30 miles per gallon on the highway. So if you're looking for an SUV, you want something that's day-to-day -day usable, works really well, looks good on the outside. I think you gotta get out, take one of these CX-5s for a spin, see what you think. Now, that was just a brief look and drive at the 2025 Mazda CX-5. Now, if you have any other questions or you'd like to schedule a test drive, you can visit us online at walzer.com or stop by anytime. We'd be more than happy to help. Thanks for watching.